Morning guys, how's it going? Uh, well, we streamed live today uh, while I was, you know, while I was working, just pottering around. And uh, I used to do those streams, actually. I used to do that uh, every day. Uh, but that was during the pandemic, really, you know, the height of the pandemic when everyone was bored senseless and people found it helpful uh, at the time, you know. And uh, so we stopped doing them eventually. Uh, but I enjoyed it today. You know, it gives me an opportunity to speak to some of you guys that I don't see on a Saturday night, maybe because of time zones or uh, because you've got a life unlike me. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was really good. Um, not highly exciting, just very chilled, you know, because obviously I've got to work and I can't um, commit all my time to just talking. Uh, Sean Owen Dale uh, phoned in today. So if you... The stream, the live stream that we did earlier will be there. You might have to click under the playlist to live or look on live or something. I'm not sure it works. Uh, it will be there, and I think you can watch it back in its entirety, which will be a bit boring. Um, the live chat, I think, comes up on the screen at the same time, you know, like it did at the time. Um, but if you, you know, if you want to listen to the calling that we had, uh, which was on for quite a while, just skip through it. I'm not sure where it was. Maybe halfway through or something. I don't know. Um, but it's really good. So I'm going to do one tomorrow, all right? Uh, I think I've scheduled it for 10 a.m. UK time, I think. Um, so, like I say, you know, if you just want to drop in, I want to get back into the habit of that. You know, like Sean was saying, it was really chilled, it was good. Um, and I think people appreciated it. So it's kind of like, you know, as, as Liverpool news is happening or claims are being made, you know, you can drop in and talk about it or, you know, I will tell people what I'm doing and... Uh, but obviously, you know, majority of the time, unfortunately, I have got to focus uh, on my work. But that enabled, you know, you guys are all chatting away and I get to uh, to talk to you. So, so uh, we'll do that tomorrow. All right. So, but don't forget, on a Friday, I go to a pub with my mates. All right. I didn't go last Friday, so I'm definitely going this Friday. Uh, so, four o'clock, I need to be away for that. Oh, well, before four o'clock UK, actually. Um but yeah, we'll definitely be on, on here for a few hours tomorrow, okay. Uh, so I'll get any podcast done or anything earlier in the morning. Uh, but yeah, so thanks for coming along if you, if you did earlier. What I want to do is just touch on these claims, you know, there's some misinformation going around today, which won't surprise you, uh, to do with Jude Bellingham and um, claims, you know, quite a few people have come in today to me and said, oh, have you heard about the £97 million bid? There is no £97 uh, million pound bid. Uh, the the article uh, was published in Spain, and uh, it basically says that's the kind you know if you convert the euros into sterling, that's basically the suggestion is that Dortmund want ninety seven million pound in that region. Um, I've got the article here. Uh, in front of me now if you go to coptalk.com www.coptalk.com it's on the front page right now so i would advise you go and read that when you finish watching this video if you're on the members website it's on your members uh, news page as well okay um but basically there's an article about it okay uh, so i'm not going there's no point of going through it or you might as well go and read it uh, and i'm making myself a cup of tea because i, I i've been live all day and I don't want to miss that sun. So I want to get outside and just sit outside and have this cuppa before winding down for the evening. Um, I, actually, I actually think it's a good article. I wrote it. Uh, so it'll be riddled with mistakes, spelling mistakes and everything. Um, but I think it will... I think it will put thing just put things right a little bit i mean even on the members website one of the guys great guy on the members website was talking about this 97 million pound bid and i said no there isn't one uh it's just because the original article is in spanish and uh you know some of these twitter itks knowingly or mistakenly say things that are just not accurate anyway uh the article today very briefly uh, which came from Real Madrid's mouthpiece, if you like, um, said that Borussia Dortmund looking for a fee in the region of 97.4 million to 102 million, that's pounds, which could rise to 132.7 million, depending on appearances and bonuses. 
And Real Madrid obviously think they're in pole position to get him. They think that the player wants to go to them and that the player's father, Mark, and his family, if you like, Mark, his dad uh, also represents him as well. This this article suggests that the family are the ones that want to go back to England, but that the player would rather go to uh, to Real Madrid. And the article also suggests that Real Madrid would be willing to pay more of a transfer fee, but not the same sort of salary and wages that he would get offered by Manchester City or Liverpool. The article suggests that Manchester City are in a stronger position than Liverpool, but that Klopp wants him. Um, there is a, a, a reference to that. Uh, Jurgen Klopp sees Bellingham as a fundament as, as fundamental to his summer rebuild. Um, and as much as Bellingham has been identified as their primary target for the summer for Real Madrid, it would appear that they aren't willing to throw everything at him like they were Kylian Mbappe. There's also a comment in there from Phil Thompson saying he thinks you know that fans are going to be disappointed, and he's picking up uh, Mount Mason Mount, which is. You know, something we spoke about back in January. You remember I made the... What's that dog doing? He's so funny. Oi, what are you doing? Uh, he's, he's, he's funny at the moment. He's not funny when he cocks his leg up in random parts of my house. He needs to start learning. Um, yeah, the Mason Mount stuff. We touched on that back in January, the meeting and everything. Uh, anyway... There is no £97 million pound bid. Uh, it's just been wrongly, uh, you know, people, and people read things or don't pay attention. I'm not saying everyone's out there to mislead you. There's a lot of people that will. Um, but people can innocently think that that's where it is, and it's not. Um, you know what, guys? I know everyone's really fed up at the moment because I think they're not going to get Bellingham, right? Because... The minute we crashed out of the Champions League, uh, we saw the likes of Paul Joyce, Arnstein, etc. Obviously fed uh, stuff from the club and FSG, depending on which one you listen to. Uh, Arnstein, FSG, in my opinion. Uh, Joyce, more like senior people at Liverpool, which includes Gordon, FSG. But um, despite... All the negativity at the moment, people saying, well, we're not going to get him and all that. I'm actually more upbeat than those people. If you're one of those people that think it's not going to happen, I have a, I'm not ruling it out. Now, I don't know, right? I, I, I don't know. But just based on things, and things might have to change. It might be, very, you know, different variables and circumstances might contribute to that, right? You know, where we finish in the league, will there be investment, minor investment? Club sale, you know, stuff like that. So many different things that can happen. Will 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 a player be sold to, to help finance it? Um, I'm just saying I, I haven't given up is what I'm saying on this. And I'm trust me, I am not naive. I'm not gullible. Uh, it, never, all right, never. I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, there's been times when I've maybe trusted, you know, and thought a player was really committed to the cause. You know, you remember how angry I was when Torres left. Because um, I don't, um, very rarely do I get attached to a player because I know what they're like, only from my experiences of, with the website. Uh, so sometimes, I can, maybe sometimes I, I can, I don't know, what I'm trying to say is with Torres, I thought he was different. But then like when I, when I calmed down, I realised that they'd lied to him and all that. I just thought he was different. No, no. I thought he was old school, like, I thought he cared. About the fans, you know, because they don't really, guys. Uh, but I forgave him because it came out that he'd been lied to. Anyway, uh, you know, there's times when players are lied to, but it don't mean they can just down tools, you know, to suit, to suit themselves. Like, uh, but no, what I'm trying to say is I'm, I'm not gullible, I'm not naive. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> honestly, I'm really actually not that bothered to be honest with you because at the moment I'm past caring about it. I say that, and you you know I'm not. You know I'm not. I think it's just me trying to convince myself. Like, don't get wound up by Duncan. Do you know what I mean? Uh, don't get wound up by it because it makes you really unhappy. So all the ownership stuff, I go, I'm not bothered. You know, but I, I am bothered. 
but I was just trying to keep a lid on it. And the same applies with Bellingham because I know that it would make you guys really happy. It make me really happy, but it make you guys happy. And I just think we need, we just need that boost. Like, you know, we really need that boost, don't we? We need something to be happy about. Because there ain't now, <laughs> absolutely nothing at the minute uh, to do with the club. Uh, so anyway, there's no 97 million pound bid, all right? The article does say that Liverpool have, uh, you know, put forward an offer, if you like, uh, but, you know, we've been hearing that for forever and, you know, you've got to remember that they are the mouthpiece of Real Madrid and the propagandas and their job is to unsettle players and spark confusion. And that's one more thing I'm going to say to you. At the end of the article, I said, try and ignore, try and ignore all the claims, all the reports, everything you're seeing at the moment because the clubs, the agents, they're trying to create as much confusion and they're playing a game out. You know, we're talking big, big money now. You know, you want to be six, you're going to get them rumours out, confuse people. Is that really happening? Are Liverpool really not going to bid for him? That's the image they're presenting. Oh, no, we won't be going for him, we can't afford him. Is it a negotiating tactic? Do you know what I mean? There's so many things could happen, guys, but I don't think the Bellingham thing is dead yet. And if you want to avoid all that nonsense, become a cop talk VIP member <laughs> because it'll it'll help me out big time. See that fridge, yeah, this is now in it, guys. Honestly, you can see I'm fading away. That's why I'm losing all my weight. I know what you think. You think you've got a long long way to fade yet? I know. <laughs> uh, Scott Cheevan, he uh, he's up on the members' website. He, he signed up, so that was good. Thank you, mate. All dogs are at it again. No, but there is a listen. There is a genuine. <laughs> there is a genuine thing here. The Cop Talk members website. Any of the members will tell you. I'm sure uh, that it's a great community, and we. It's not just about putting news out there. It's about responding to all the various claims, and there's some really important people on there. And it's really, and obviously you're really helping a brother out if you do that. Or become a channel member on here. Either way, uh, I'd like you to be part of this squad. It's good. But I know that it's not possible as well to, 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 to some of you, you know. That's a nice cup of tea there. That's a really nice cup of tea. Mm. Well, that's my, uh, my, uh, my job done for the day. I'm going to go and get outside. I'm going to go and sit outside with Remy and uh, just chill for a bit. I'm absolutely shattered. Tired, really. Uh, okay, then. Uh, let me know your comments. Uh, let me know what you think about the, the Bellingham situation. And I'm, I'm sure it looks like... Don't, I'm not trying to make you give you false hope or anything. I'm just saying I've not given up on it yet, that's all. And you've got to remember there's a lot of people out there don't like FSG and will use anything they can against FSG to pollute the situation and to make you anti-FSG and the Bellingham situation is a, a fine example of that and I'm not, I'm not a mug guy you know I, I I know that probably at the end of the summer I'll go set but you know what I mean but you never know right now I'm not I'm not throwing it towel in I wouldn't say I'm like as optimistic as some people are you know these top reds that think everything's great uh, you know I'm not that like buzzing about the possibility I'm not saying I'm not that confident is what I mean uh, but I, I've not thrown a towel in. Not yet anyway. Not yet anyway. You know, and families play a big part in these things. Do you know what I mean? Like, even so, if he really wanted to play for Real Madrid, but his dad or his family said, no, I, I want to go home, you know, I want to go back there. If it was my mum, you know, I'd be thinking, mum, I want to play, I want to play for whatever. But at the end of the day, I'd think, well, I've got to look after my mum, you know. Maybe some people are different. I don't know. Well, that's how I would be. Then again, I could say, nah, I'm off to play for Real Madrid, man. I'll, I'll send you a private jet or something. I don't know. Yeah, what I'd give for my mother to be here. Mm. Mm. Right, Remy, should we go and have uh, another cup of tea? Let me know your comments, guys. And don't forget, we'll be live on here tomorrow, right? 10 o'clock UK, uh, probably for about four or five hours or something like that. It's not, it's not exciting. 
honestly, it's just look at my face going, well, well, you know, as I'm trying to do a bit of work, but there'll be plenty of people in the chat. Right, that was nice, that. See you later. All right.